Today I'm wondering, what is the value of capturing the past? I wonder this because I see that there is some value to capturing the past. There's a value of recording things, there's a value of taking photographs and scrapbooking and making yearbooks and writing blog posts and writing in your journal. I find that all of that is useful. And especially I've noticed in my journal or in the notebooks that I carry around, writing my ideas in there, let me refer to them later and continue thinking about some things and also look back and see this is an experience that I've had, how has God gotten me through this and what kind of things did I think about. So it, I think it helps me understand my present life to be able to look back on the past. I think that's in general the purpose of memories. Memories help us understand our present more even though we can't relive the past. So I think there is some value to writing down things and recording them. But I also feel like we don't need to always be pressured to capture everything. And I think it's amazing how we carry within us, I think through our experiences and through ourselves, we have some memory within us of what we've done and what we've learned, not just memory outside of us, something external. What I mean by this is I find that at least I, I personally think that everything that we do changes us or our actions eventually build up into habits which are implemented in the way that we live our current lives. I also think that I don't need to be obsessed about holding on to things. I don't need to try to capture happiness and put it somewhere so I can refer to it later. I don't think it's even that valuable to be stressed out when I'm sad because I'm afraid that I won't be able to understand sadness anymore once I'm out of it. I think in, in a way we should just take things as they come and let go. Like sometimes I think of life as like a stream, a t I guess times like a river and there's a saying you can never put your foot in the same river twice. In the same way I think life, keep, life keeps on going and it's silly to try to own it for myself. That's, I guess, what I'm learning about surrender, that I can't capture everything. So I think there's some, there's some reason to not be stressed out over it, not obsess over remembering things. Another thing about memory is related to seasons. I find that as the years go by, or especially this year, I've noticed that as it gets to a certain season, I'll be remembering things that happened that I hadn't remembered, that like some things I can only remember in spring. I have spring memories that are related to spring smells and spring weather and sp spring events that I just don't have any other time. Spring is my favorite season, by the way. So anyway, I do think that there are some memories that are captured inside of ourselves and some memories that are part of seasons. And yet, there's also some memories that need to be written down or should be written down. So I really wonder, um, how is there any kind of me measuring stick to weigh their importance? Is there any way of telling? Another thing that I'm thinking about, which I'm just going to put in here because I can, is just how cool this video project is. Because it's letting us exist in two worlds at once. I get to exist in this inner world, my inner self, just expressing my thoughts and there's also the fact that I'm talking to other people and that other people are listening to me. I find it interesting that when I've been by myself for a while, I doing, I'm doing all of my thinking in my head, not thinking out loud. And so when I get into a group of people, I feel almost like I have this great secret and it makes me happy inside to think of all the things that are exciting to think about and just to be happy and full with not saying them or saying them and interacting with people. And perhaps one of the things about capturing ideas is that it gives us a reason, it take, lets us pause and stop to think, to actually write down all those secrets or write down all of those things that we don't say. A time to pause and interact with people or communicate to people without the pressure of them talking and it being a discussion. So I think it's valuable to capture things. Not everything can happen in the moment. And so I love to hear your input, and I just am glad that I get to talk to you every day.